Welcome to another Cattle Chat Corner. I'm Trent Luce. 2013 Beef Industry Cattle Industry Convention and uh, Manny Encinius from actually New Mexico. Yes, New Mexico State okay. University. And uh, you're proudly wearing a, a U.S. flag and patriotism about Beef Academy and teaching young people true beef industry hands-on. Tell me about this. Uh, yes, sir, Trent. Uh, you know, a couple years ago, um, ba uh, leadership uh, in New Mexico for the beef industry and allied industry uh, had this novel concept that uh, recognized that our producers are getting older uh, across the industry and that uh, it was our responsibility to uh, develop some truly applied programs uh, that would maybe promote and encourage more young people um, to seek out careers um, directly in the beef uh, industry and in the ranching industry. Um, in New Mexico, uh, like a lot of other states across the country, you know, ranching is, uh, is pretty deep-rooted. And uh, as we look across the ranches, there's not a lot of young people wanting to come back. Um, I want to interrupt you a minute because I think that there's not a lot of young people coming back because we haven't done what you're doing enough and encourage them to come back too many times we've been telling them go to New Mexico State University or God forbid Texas A&M University and get a job in agribusiness instead of coming back to the land and what I'm seeing is that you're just telling these kids hey it's okay to come back if that's what you want to do definitely and I think that's that was uh, the intent of our program was to allow them to see all of the opportunities uh, that tie back into the beef industry um, the young people that come to our uh, applied programs, uh, one is a New Mexico Youth Ranch Management Camp that we host in June um, in the high country of New Mexico, and the second we host, um, that's called the U.S. Beef Academy that we host in July. Um, we basically expose the kids to all aspects of the industry in a very hands-on approach. Uh, there's not a whole lot of sit-down lecture time. We basically uh, engage these kids uh, in a very, um, a very aggressive curriculum uh, they fabricate beef carcasses and they eat off that beef carcass the entire week. Uh, they learn about all of the hormones and all of the applications of uh, implementing ester synchronization and artificial insemination. Uh, they learn all the, the new uh, ways to diagnose pregnancy. Uh, they, they learn how to formulate rations. They also learn how to be good stewards of the land and um, actually understand how to um, measure how many cows or stalkers you can run on a given piece of property. Um, every day the, the young people have an opportunity to compete for top hand awards where they they compete for um, handmade uh, chinks and buckles and and uh, you want to get in this deal? I want to be in. Can I be one? Definitely. <laughs> Come on. I'm not too old. Oh heck no. We've, we've also even thought about having uh, adult courses in this. Again it's it's five days and it's just jam-packed with with just you know excitement I think there's excitement for for those of us adult instructors because we see that there is going to be a future for our industry just by the energy that these young people you know um, show throughout throughout the week um, they, they outlast the adults they want more they're little they're young sponges um, and so again we're just trying to get more young people to look at all the diverse opportunities in the industry from from working you know uh, back directly on the ranch to all of the science and technology uh, that has allowed our industry to, pop, to prosper and become more efficient and allow us to to be able to feed the world it might be one of the oldest sayings we know knowledge is power but what we're talking about is giving young people a bunch of knowledge but who's inspired the old duffers, like Manny and I, about what the next generation is going to accomplish in American agriculture. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Trent. I'm Trent Luce with the U.S. Beef Academy with New Mexico taking the charge and providing these opportunities. Thanks for joining us on the Cattle Chat Corner.